In this video, we're diving into what makes Uber's customer experience great. If you're an entrepreneur or marketer looking for ideas to grow your business, you're gonna love this video. The story of Uber begins in the year 2008. That's when friends and co-founders of Uber, Travis Kalanick and Garrett Camp, were attending a tech conference in Paris. One freezing night, they couldn't get a cab. And while they were shivering on a cobblestone street waiting for their ride, they had a revelation. Not knowing when or if you'll ever find a cab stinks. It was in this stressed out moment that a simple question created Uber. They asked themselves, what if you could request a cab on your phone? And that night, whether they realized it or not, these two men discovered a insight. Waiting on a cab is an emotional roller coaster. Not only that, but the psychological peak end rule tells us that these emotional moments punch above their weight. People's memories and opinions of a brand are created in high stress moments like these. Kalnick and Camp knew they had to create a startup that turned waiting for a taxi from a negative experience into a positive one. Here's how they did it. One of the worst things about getting a cab in 2008 was a lack of information, not knowing when or if your ride would show up. So Uber used a principle called operational transparency to keep people distracted from waiting on their ride. Operational transparency says that showing customers what's going on behind the scenes of your business is actually a good thing. It can make them value a product more highly, and it can even make them happier with the whole experience. Uber's solution was making it clear when your ride will arrive and telling you when and why it might get delayed. You can see who your driver is, their name and photo, and their rating. And Uber's most important use of operational transparency was taking the mystery out of taxi cab pricing. For every ride option, you can see a fair breakdown that shows you how much you'll pay per minute, mile, and any additional surcharges or tolls before you agree to get the ride. So you're never wondering if you're about to take a $100 cab ride or a $20 one. When Uber launched, this type of operational transparency was rare. People were used to cab not being upfront with why they charged what they did, but Uber's radical transparency made them easier to trust. Uber knows that keeping people busy makes them happier while they wait. That's why you see a little car animation driving around on the map as your ride gets closer and closer. Uber didn't have to spend the time and money to build this animation. They could have just told you what time your driver was due and left it at that. But studies say when you keep people busy by giving them something to watch or to engage with, they have a better waiting experience. There's a scientific name for this effect. It's called idleness aversion, and it says that people are happier when they're busy, even if you force them to be busy. Ever seen an elevator door that's covered in mirrors? That's not just an interior design choice. The mirrors are there to keep you entertained, checking out your hair or teeth while you wait for your lift to the next floor. Time moves faster when you're distracted. In 1932, a behaviorist named Clark Hull was studying rats in a maze. By placing sensors on the rats, he was able to track their speed as they ran toward a food reward. Hull noticed that the rats moved faster the closer they got to their treat. He called this principle the goal gradient effect. A common application of goal gradient can be seen on progress bars on websites, anything that shows users how close they are to getting to their virtual finish line. Uber may not have known about Clark Hull's effect, but they did know that a user's perception of time was a key part of their experience. So they included two things in their app that apply goal gradient, a car animation on a map to indicate progress and a countdown that tells you how many minutes are left until your driver arrives. Both the countdown and the car animation act like a progress bar. You can see how much time you have left until your ride arrives. The goal gradient effect means that the closer your Uber gets, the faster it seems to get there. Every time you take a ride with Uber, it's learning more about you. They use machine learning to better understand your behavior and your preferences, then serve up personalized destinations based on your ride history, your favorite times, and favorite destinations. The app even rearranges your ride options depending on your history, your preference for environmentally friendly rides, real-time traffic data, and the length of your trip. So you might see a recommendation for a bike if you're just going a few blocks and you wanna save a few fossil fuel emissions, or a helicopter if traffic is worse than usual. The company knows it only takes about 2.7 rides to make someone a permanent customer, and these personalization touches make Uber faster and easier to use than its competitors.